Hey guys, it's Alex Pierce. Today we're going to be talking about UV Packmaster. UV Packmaster is an add-on for Blender, and you can find it by going to uvpackmaster.com. You can go to For Blender, and then you can see sort of what it does here. It tells you what it does. It gives you some examples, um, and there are there is a video that shows you a little bit about it. And you can also get support um, and there's a lot of there's a lot of great information at the at his uh, website here so definitely go check that out you can also get UV Packmaster at blendermarket.com and if you use the link in the description I will get 10% of the purchase so it's a way that if you want to buy it and support me at the same time that would be appreciated it also lets him know that you found his add-on because of the video which is also, uh, it's also great for him. And then also if you, pretty soon, this is my site, Blender Render, and uh, soon it's gonna be blenderrender.com, and I have a bunch of products here, and I, I am hoping to add UVP to my marketplace soon. But I'm just gonna give you sort of an overview from my own experience, my own words. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump in. Installing it is not quite as straightforward as most add-ons, and I might make another video showing how to install it. But uh, but basically, once you have it installed, then when you go to the UV editing tab, and you are in edit mode, you have this add-on on the side, on your in menu over here, and then you have all these different options. Now there's a lot of options, but we're just gonna be talking about some of the ones, main ones I use today. And let's start by just looking at the pack option. So this is a, a monkey, I just brought him in. I just created him from Blender. So if we look at the Blender way of packing, this is how it packs right here. And if we do in UV Pack Master, if you push measure area, it'll tell you what the area is here. So this is 0.596, which means it's 59.6% of this area is being used. Now, if we try UV Pack Master, if we push pack, um, you can see it get got to 0 0.604, which is now 60.4% of this area is, is taken up. So that's a lot better. And then if we go down into um, heuristic, this is for the pro version of UVP. Enable heuristic, enable advanced. And now let's see what packing does. And you can see what the heuristic does is that it continues to try to find a better way to pack these and it will keep going until I push escape. So I'm just gonna let it sit here for a minute. Uh, okay, I'll go ahead and stop there. So right off the bat, you can see, okay, it can pack a little bit better. And this is not really the best example because this is a, the monkey is a weird shape. But let's say we have, five monkeys. So select all of these, edit, a. Okay, and if we do UV, pack UV, this is how Blender did it. And let's just put this to, okay, it's at margin is 0 0.03. Okay, now if we select all and use UVP, so now we can get a little bit better result, 0 0.68. And we can change the margin. So we can change the margin here. Um, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Now, one of the things you might go, well, but this is now, things are sort of everywhere, and maybe that's okay, maybe it's not. Well, of course, there are many options that we can we can do to, um, to make this better. So one thing is, if you don't need, if overlapping faces is a good thing, right, if you want overlapping faces, then in regular Blender, I don't think there's a way to easily do that. Um, but with UV Packmaster, of course there is. So let's go down to, let's come to close basic options. I'm going to close heuristic and we're going to close that. We're going to look at advanced options and there's a few different things we could do, but right off the bat, what we can do is push a line similar. And now you can see that everything that was similar, the eyes, the, the front of the face and the ears were all grouped together. And then we can do lock overlapping, push exact. And now when we pack, all the things that were over, that should be overlapping are overlapping. And we have this really nice result, um, really, really nice result here. So this is, this is a killer, killer feature of UVP, uh, in my opinion. I think this is a really, really great option. Um, and this is gonna, 
this will help a lot, especially when you have like if you're doing architecture stuff and you have all these beams, um, it just makes your life a lot easier. Let's say that we needed to add another monkey, okay? So let's duplicate this monkey, we'll put him over here. And now we're gonna select all of these. Edit A, A, select all. And now what we could do is we can select just this monkey. Make sure he's all selected here, I'm just pushing L. And instead of, I mean, one way we could obviously just pack everything, but let's say we really liked our UV map where it was. One thing we could do is these selected, we can come down and say pack to others. And what that will do is it will, anything that's selected, it will pack it to anything that's not selected. So I'll just show you what I mean. If I push pack, it scaled it and moved it out of the way so that it's not overlapping with anything else. So it also has UDIM support, U-D-I-M. I don't really use UDIM right now for anything, but uh, there's some really interesting options there. So for instance, let's go ahead and I'll show you one of those things. You can pack to packing mode, advanced options. You can pack to a single tile. You can pack to tiles uh, using Blender UDIM grid. You can pack, uh, you can group things together, group to tiles. Um, and I'm just going to go back to single here and you can also, let me go ahead and align similar and you could, from the very top, you can do split overlapping islands. And then what that does, you can see what it does here. So all the overlapping islands are just, um, are just moved and just split into uh, tiles and I'm just going back to pack. So you can also have, I haven't messed with it, but you can do uh, presets. You can pack on your CPU or your graphics card, or if you have the pro version, you can do all devices. Um, you know, you can change things here. The, uh, if, if you don't want things to be rotated, say you're working with um, logos or text or something and you want it to be, you don't want it to be rotated, you can do that. You can, uh, let's see, one of the other things I like to do is group together. And then you can group by different things, UDEM tile, object, mesh part, simulator, material. So I like to do material. So if we do that, what's it say? Oh, sure, there's no, no material here. Uh, of course, of course not. Um, but yeah, material is one I like to do. In this example down here, these three would be in three different spots on the on the map. Packed others is great. Fixed scales is also good. Normalized islands is is great for text, textual density. So if we read this, uh, it it automatically scales the islands before packing so that the average textual density is the same for every island, which is great. Um, and then another one I use a ton is this packing box feature. So what the packing box does is let's say, um, let's say that, so let me just, so you click enable and they can do draw packing box. And then you can say, I want this area. I only want to pack in this area. So let's, let's do this. So let's say I want this monkey. I'm just pushing L to select the uh, the linked part of that. I want to pack this monkey in this section here. So I can now go up to the top, do pack. Ah, let me turn off the groups. So I need to go back to single tile and then pack. And now that monkey is packed just in that area. And then what we can do is we can go, so escape. And we can do like can turn off our packing box, control I to select inverse, and then pack to others and pack. And now we have everything else outside of that packing area, that packing box. So that's a that it there's a really there's a depending on your workflow, there's a there's a bunch of different ways you can do it. Um, and it's really, really, really great, really powerful uh, to do that. And you can use a combination of that. So you can say I want these eyeballs to be 
in this area, but I don't want it to be overlapping with all these. So I still, again, I can say pack to others and then pack. And now it will scale those down and put them inside there. Push escape to get out of that. So you can see how, how flexible and how powerful this is. Um, it's really pretty, pretty amazing. Um, you can also, besides just aligning similar, you can also select similar. So I can push linked here and I could do select similar. And you can see all the all of the places that are similar, which is which can be helpful. So there's there are other options here: lock groups, manual groups, island rotation, uh, non-square packing, pixel margin, which I think uses uh, pixels instead of the regular padding. Um, and yeah, and and again, I I don't use most of these, and maybe I should be. Uh, if you have any uh, any tips for me, I'd, I'd be happy to hear them. But uh, yeah, this is this has been an overview of UV Packmaster. I hope it was helpful. And if you want it, you can go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.